Mike, last night you got a chance to see potentially the uh, the number one overall pick in the MLB draft. And I really wanted to get into this in a minute. Yesterday I was telling you, hey, man, when he's taking infield in between mm-hmm. innings, he's popping his hips, he's doing all these things to, to you know make sure, and it looks like he's doing all these things because he's that kind of a focused guy. You said he had it for a different reason. When you got to see him last night, what was what did you take in from this kid? He just he threw normally uh, in between innings. He just had a, he has a very strong arm. <clears throat> watching it, uh, when I took it in, it was great that he did have multiple plays at shortstop. Your routine play, your turn in two play, uh, you know. And and look, you know, I'm highly critical just because I can see the game way better than 99 percent of the people that are listening right now. Not that it doesn't mean you don't love baseball or whatever, but I can see just little minute things. It does like when he was turning to it looked like he had just a little bit of tough time getting the ball to the glove. That doesn't mean I'd like knock him and be like he can't be the first pick because you know he had he had a little bit of a transfer issue on that. You know, and then the second baseman threw the ball high. Uh but you know and it was still a double play. And then he had a ball where he backhanded it and threw it nice and easy to first base. You're like, dude, that's that's a great play. Like you know, nothing against Irving MacArthur, but they their shortstop was a really bad player. You know, like uh, when when uh, Jordan Lawler hit a ground ball to short, the kid didn't charge the ball at all, and then doesn't have a very strong arm, and Lawler beat it out for a hit. You know, uh, but the kid either can't charge the ball or doesn't know how to charge the ball. Um, and, and so when I watched Lawler, though. He's a big kid. Like, I mean, for his athleticism and then uh, making it down to first, I'll tell you what, he can run. For yeah, him being can. approximately 6'2", 190 is what I'm going to guess. Just looking at him Ooh. on the field, that would be my guess on what he is at 18 years old. Um, he then stole second base, and he, to me, he looked like he could fly. Now, that being said, you know, the pitcher was not quick to the plate. The catcher for MacArthur does not have a good arm, and so he stole it standing up. And then, you know, I'll just put it at he looks very fast. Like on a scale of like, let's say, uh, a 1 to 10 scale to make it simple, I would say his speed is a 9. Like I would say, you know, like if you took out Billy Hamilton's like a 10, you know, if, if you're looking at oh, wow. trying to think of – This of, is a 9? Like Mike Trout runs faster than him, but like I mean, you're but he's just below those guys, right? I, saw, I mean, Mike, I watched a game of his yesterday against Pierce, and he hit one to the wall and left center, um, closer to center field, and it was a triple. Like, and it was an which easy field? triple for him. Uh, it was at their home field. Okay, because like it's like three forty to center field at Pierce, so okay. that makes a little yeah. bit of a difference. Because I'm like, if he makes a triple at Pierce in the gap, like. Uh, no, it was their like, home. It was their home field. They okay. were wearing white. Yeah, so yeah. Was... He he uh, he runs easy. His athleticism is known. There actually was a pop up behind him that he ran back and he caught uh, pretty easily. You know, so he showed all the skills that you would want to see from a premium prospect. His at bats weren't the best. His three at bats that I saw weren't the best. He had a ground out to shortstop, but he beat out for a hit. Uh, you know, if he was playing a good high school team, that's an out. Um, he had a pop up to second base on his third at bat, and he hit a, a nice line drive single to left field uh, in those at bats. Here's the tough part about Did it. Come this. off the bat hard, or no? Like... It was just a, it was just a nice easy okay. line drive. When I say okay. easy line drive, it wasn't hit like if I had exit velocity, it was probably like 85. Okay, probably exit velocity. But here's the here's the tough thing about this. This is the tough thing about uh, this is why scouts don't really like going to high school baseball games. This is why colleges don't really like going to high school baseball games. I don't like this, but this is the truth. Irving MacArthur had nobody who's going to play after high school. They're just not good at baseball, okay? There's, the score was 9-0. to zero. I hate to say that. Those kids are trying their best. They're doing their best. There's just not much talent at Irving MacArthur. The first kid who pitched, I'm going to guesstimate, because uh, I didn't see a gun there. I'm going to guesstimate he was probably... 79 to 83 was probably what his fastball was at, which is a nice, that's an average fastball in high school. You know, this is 6A school, uh, so I'm not, and then they brought in for his second and third at bats, I watched the kid throwing was probably five foot nine, maybe throwing the ball 75 to 78 oh. would be my guess. I mean, and that's, that's a, a below average 6A arm, but he threw strikes. The great thing about that is they did challenge Lawler. I, he, I wasn't watching walks. They actually threw the ball over the plate, so I did get to see him swing the bat. He missed a few that were home run pitches that I'm like, you know. But 
this is the tough thing to evaluate when you're what he's never going to see a guy unless he's facing a knuckleball guy you know that throws that, throws that, slow. that slow and and he's never going to face a guy you know that has an average fastball of 81 but in high school you know especially against lower level high school teams that's what you're going to face and yeah. so I was hoping that he would crush the ball. It doesn't mean like I'm knocking him. It just means like I would rather see him play South Lake or Capel or, you know, like it is what it is. Jesuits in a horrible district. They're in with Ir Irving and Richardson. And usually those are horrible teams for the most part. You know, Pierce is usually a pretty good team. Yeah. But for the most part, your Richardson and Irving schools are bad schools uh, that, you know, for when it comes to baseball. And, you know, and so when you're watching him hit, you're like, God, I wish there was more competition. Like the kid for Jesuit, I would say like he's a, I would guess the kid for Jesuit was throwing 84 to 87 would be oh. my guess. Maybe, maybe topping off at like 88 or 89 would be my guess, right? So that's a guy when I watched him pitch, I was like, you know, if I was at a smaller college, I would look at him. If I was at a junior college or whatever, for sure, like I want that kid, you know, but uh, that would have been a great challenge, right? If I could have watched Lawler hit off his own pitcher, I'd be like, hey, this is a guy who, you know, is, is looks like he can pitch in college, that, that he's going to be facing a guy throwing the ball in the mid-80s. So this get, would give me a better idea. Had a pretty good breaking ball, pretty good movement, you know, through from three quarters. So I would watch him and go, hey, let me watch him. This will give me a better idea of what he can do against some competitive pitching.